where are we right now and such? Oh, okay. So this is just the theater of the mind part. You guys just successively, I'm giving you the recap, um, went in to the zoo and, you know, took down all the animals that were terrorizing other people. You guys found an owlbear that was eating corpses for hours that you guys have been there. Um, after that, you guys rescued and saved other people. And here's the little thing they say for me to say. So after today's event, you guys managed to rescue other people, survivors who barricaded themselves and managed to knock all the animals unconscious as a crowd of people witnessed. They cheered and some booed here and there, but amongst the crowd is a man with a top hat and a weird looking glasses as he has his pencil and paper writing down something and stares at you from a distance. More agents come in with different animals tied up from around the district area and pat you on the back saying, good job, we'll get them next time. Sorry for being late. One of the childs that uh, Penny saved runs to their father and the father thanks you with his tears of joy. But behind all the crowd of people, you see people you've saved already. The employees, as they're talking amongst each other and pointing at fingers at a short blue haired gnome. Let me see, picture. So as they're pointing at the little gnome creature, a agent comes by and grabs a gnome and puts handcuffs on him. And he says, let me go. I didn't do it. I swear. He gets loose and runs towards you and pleads for his life. Please help me. I'm innocent. I swear. The agent grabs him by the hand. Ugh. We heard all the evidence. Everything points to you hiding in the scene of the crime. And all the employees ratted you out, saying you did something to the animals that you took care of today. Each one aggressive because of you taking care of them. And he just squirms and squirms. Do you guys do anything? Can we ask for further evidence? Because the evidence I heard is that he was hiding like everyone else. Sure, yeah. Ask the agent or who you're asking. Well, maybe you won't know this. Never mind. Who's confusing? What you said, Penny? Never mind. You know what? That's okay. Who's accusing him? Like, who specifically? Is he a nameless agent? Is he my boss? He is, let me see. What's his name? Agent. He better not be Smith. <laughs> That was, hey, uh, somebody got it. Oh, not being good. Agent Born. Uh oh, he's he's done for, isn't he? Oh, yep. Goodbye. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, he lost his thirty, bro. Background. Can we smell him? Sure. Roll um, me a perception check. Which one do you smell, the agent or the gnome? Agent. Yeah, I'm looking um, for the agent's name. The gnome. Cause there's Cause the, what? What does that thing smell? Can we get a reminder of what everything smells like? But like, oh, there was like a cinnamon smell, wasn't there? Cinnamon? Hmm. Wasn't there something like that? Yeah. Oh, let's right? see. Was it Rindal? That was from the bear, though, wasn't it? Oh. Nothing you smelled it off of the. As a recap, you guys smelled it off of the animals that were attacking you. Yeah. I mean, I guess you make a good point. Maybe there's some like cinnamon rabies or something. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay, officer. Okay, officer Sinya. Y'all had cinnamon in your eyes. That's like you're passing or do I roll for cinnamon? Oh, just roll perception. Cinnamon. Well, this guy's hamming. Funny enough, that was a That's thing. An option. That's not good. At the... Mm. Bills. Getting closer. Perception. Perception under perception. 
what I get. I see. Not a critical success, but you do smell cinnamon from this gnome creature. Uh, you know, oh. I don't have questions. We're you know, I probably We're should have any questions, but I, I think he's guilty now. Never mind. I have no more defenses. Okay, so you guys just let him go? Or any questions? Uh, well, I guess I didn't even ask. What was he doing during this whole commotion? As you ask that, Sinya says, he was out in the back, sneaking around in the storage section where all the food and water's at. Yes, yes, but I was hiding from all the freaking animals. That's all, I got attacked by the rust monster. Rusty. Can I determine if he's lying or not? Sure, roll up perception. Sense motive. You get a sense that he's telling the truth. Because you, as you can see, he has a wound on his leg. Well, this told me nothing. Please tell him I'm innocent. I didn't do anything. Could we request like more questioning or something? Like maybe we should bring him with us. Maybe we're special agents. Maybe we should look into it. Unless we have a bigger problem at hand. Yeah, can we go back to the zoo and do more investigating or something? There's a lot of well, people I'm investigating right we're... now, so technically, yeah, you can. Wait, could I see the background? And I could take you... Could I see, like, a dragon? Oh, never mind. Oh, we're back here. Mm-hmm. So you guys are just going to leave him while he's in the arms of this officer, Sinya, or just go back? No, we should, we should bring him with us. All right. What do you want to say to her? To convince? Um, hey, we're the special agency of Edgewatch. Uh, we're looking into a case that involves um, the rabid animals, and this one... This one seems like it could give us a good lead. Do you mind if we take him with us? Or should I roll? Diplomacy or something? Hmm. Can we ask or do I just show, show them my badge? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you the new rookies, though? So you guys handle all this? Well, we're a new team, but I wouldn't say that we're new to these kinds of situations. Fine, fine, fine. He hands the gnome over. But make sure he gets back. I'm the one taking him in, and I'm getting the credit for it. We'll have him back by the end of the day. Can we ask him, like, what he thinks happened? Sure, ask him. Because, yeah. Because you don't know his name, okay. so nobody asked him. So I asked him what his theory is for this whole ordeal <laughs> that well, we ask well my well mm -hmm. hi is everyone you know never mind i'm just gonna find you um we should probably ask him why he smells of cinnamon so i may ask that if uh if were, actually speaking of words everyone i'm looking at the map it's all black right now yeah i'm Refresh. I'm outside of that building. I'm trying to oh, zoom out. I can't. I, I can't zoom out though. Are you on laptop? Yeah. I mean, why'd you get under me? I will try to drag your character back in and see if that does anything. Boop, and here you go. Yeah, all I see is black right now. I see you. Can you see me? Uh, no. Oh. Wait, I can't. It's really zoomed in. Wait, how do I zoom out? You gotta use a scroll tab. Wait, can I press... Oh, I can press negative. Alright, we're good. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Yummy. So this is a little gnome what creature that you guys have. And you brought him back to the zoo. We cool? should go out by the lake. We should go out by the lake. Mm -hmm. You guys don't think I, I actually did all this, do you? Well, <laughs> no. Not, I wouldn't say that you did all of this, although you're definitely suspicious to be uh, related to the situation at hand. Well, what have you? Uh, what do you know of the situation with the animals and the smell of cinnamon? I explained to them already. I, I, I swear, I swear. 
all I did was to give him the water and and they started acting up and stuff and and I, that's what I normally do and it's just it's just ah. And he just starts pulling out his hair. Uh, where I normally get them from, from the storage section. They drink special water. Some of them, you know, some, Where's it's like not salt water, but you know, just normal water for animals. I can show you. Get us storage. Yeah. I suppose we should investigate. And he opens the door. Hmm. See, there's a description. Oh, interesting. A windowless wooden shed with a door on the east and large piles of dung near the north wall. Inside, it's filled with shovels, pitchforks, buckets, tools, bags, crates of animal food, and open topped water bucket. The person who's investigating, which is Larcel, roll me a nature check. Or, sorry, per uh, perception check is what it says. Uh, a nine. I you don't get. You don't sense mind. anything off in this room. Yo, somebody. Yo, can one of y'all come in here? I'm not really uh, seeing anything. This is where I was hiding. After Rusty bit me. Can I inspect the wound? Sure. What are you trying to expect for exactly? Well, what for? Well, I'm trying to inspect what kind of injury. It is. Gotcha. That would be a medicine check. Fifteen. DC was a twelve. This is indeed a wound from a rust monster. Well, he's not worried about what he's been hurt by. Although, when he actually acquired this wound, is a whole other deal. Can I inspect to determine how old the wound is? Sure. Uh, even with that medicine check, you suspected that it did happen recently from the flesh, blood, and everything. Can I, de can I determine a probable timestamp between, between now and the time before the attack? Mm, not necessarily. No. Alright, well, so far his case is clean. See, I told them. I told them all. But they don't listen to me. Well, it did cause, all cause quite a stir. I suppose we have more to look into involving the water matter. Um, wait, does it smell of cinnamon in this little house? or do the... In this little house, you do not get a sense of cinnamon. Mm. Well, you did say that he's been feeding every or I guess every animal from the storage unit. Can we investigate the food? Sure. That will be... What is the food can for? I use cooking to investigate the food? Absolutely, what? you can. Ooh. One of Yay. us should take a bite. Won't be me. I don't, I don't know <laughs> if one of us have taste buds. Perhaps we should let our local... 20, uh, nice, okay. With that DC, that is a critical success. You have checked all the food, and none of them smell like cinnamon at all. Did you uh, take a bite of one of them? <laughs> all right, well, I don't know how much we're gonna find in this room, but we should, I mean, what's, we what's the lab? Do we have a lab? Does Edgewatch have a lab that we can take the water to? <laughs> Um, yeah, they do. There's an actual yeah, scientist name that... Yeah. I have an empty alcohol bottle that I wasn't able to get spit into. Right. Tell me that I don't have to roll anything. You do not water. have to roll... Feel... You do not have to roll anything for this. I, right. yeah, I, I promise feel you. like looking at that, I would just put like... the bottle in. <laughs> I was like, yeah, roll yeah, an athletic check to get that water. water. <laughs> <laughs> As Rini... Rennie... falls into the... <laughs> As the little gnome like creature says, uh, so what are you doing with the water? Well, you know, we got people for this. Just, they can tell me more. Oh, okay. Are they going to lock me up? I can't do time. Well, well, 
you were doing time either way. I'm sorry. Um, no! Okay. But you know what? If you ain't do anything wrong, you'll get out right away. And you're too small for anyone in prison to actually, like, want to mess with you. I feel so like that's quite bad. the opposite. You get thrown like a football. Exactly. <laughs> well... We'll do well if you can help us figure out this case then we'll definitely try to lighten your sentence about that what was the first creature that you fed where was that? well i fed uh rusty can we retrace your steps uh sure sure hmm i'm trying to figure where is that would be ah okay there we go Yep. Mm. He goes out the door, and you can follow him. Um, and that bear, I don't, was it? I don't think that thing went. went Rusty was over here uh, when I fed him. This uh, oh. whole wooden, you know, wagon is built for him because, you know, he's a rust monster, and he doesn't eats metal so it'd be pretty dumb uh, of us if we kept them in something metal right is there any way we could go inside of this uh sure okay. he gets he gets the keys out and locks it all right and then can Wait, we leave like, that's for the zoo i don't know why i thought he was just some guy <laughs> i'm part of the zookeeper employees i don't get paid a lot um you didn't even ask me about my name my name's uh remy his name is oh remy. sorry we saw hmm. your name floating above your character or below oh You're below just... okay <laughs> um <laughs> the guard gm right there. no <laughs> papers somewhere there are no papers in here just a bunch of I it? thought I collected the papers earlier. Oh, I yes, you did. I think they written records because I looked over them mm -hmm. for Remy's name. Uh, wasn't in... it about, like, mm -hmm. there was something corrupt going on? I think it was a diary and someone was visiting someone else. I, I don't remember. Yeah. That will be in the... those papers? Yep, those are in the party loot. You guys found a hidden diary, a love letter. Yeah, those two things. An unsent letter so and a hidden diary. There is no mention of him in the any of these. Okay, thank you. So, so can we like investigate this room or something? Sure. Roll a perception. See if you find anything odd. Nope, nothing. Oh. <laughs> Wait, but what did you roll? Oh, you rolled low. So, and to retrace I, my steps, uh, I fed him the water bucket and a carrot, and he attacked oh. me. So I tried to quickly close the door, and he ran under the wagon, and I didn't know, and he escaped. And as you can see, this is everything he did. Oh, so he was probably infected before you came to feed him. I guess. Did you well, he wasn't he acting up him? until I fed him. Oh. Did you know anyone from How the infected when you were running? I mean, he wasn't the first one. I fed the cockatrice, the owlbear, uh, what's that? Oh. Uh, Big, uh, Bertha. Uh, what were you, what were you feeding? Bertha the snake. Exactly. Yes, he's a snake. I was feeding okay. them, you know, their usual stuff, rats, uh, meat, uh, carrots, and then I fed them the water, and then, you know, they were fine. They started to yell and screech at me, but I left. Mm, the water, you say? Yes, uh, I think Paul, or your officer friend, uh, gathered some in his little alcohol bottle. Yeah, that's Paul, Remy. Oh, okay. I got it right the first time. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. We have a lot of information to unpack here and a lot of possibilities. Is it enough? Uh, got to see. Um, 
not supposed to be a damn detective. Let's... Uh, Alright, well, if they... If it wasn't the food in the water, that means someone else must have done this. Or there's some crazy cool. accident. And we got loud. Yeah, I don't even know where the, uh, the, the owner is at. Jeez. We should talk to the owner. Oh, wait, didn't the diary say where they were going? Yeah, didn't they, um... In Can we, like, the re look, recheck the diary? Sure. So I think someone took look. it. Didn't Park or Paul take it? The diary is in the party loot, which is the party loot is the bag of holding. Oh, I do have Someone the bag Someone take it out? Yep. Uh, click the player's cheat sheet, and you should see the party loot right under it. Uh. And you should be able to read the hidden diary and the unsent oh, letter. Yeah. Wait. I just copied oh, and pasted it for like, the measure. Is it like the things in the top? Or... How do you move? Uh, oh. I will show it to players. Here you go. Oh, okay. oh I see it. You wrote what? Okay, I see hmm. And Paul grabbed a bunch of items in the place, so there's a lot of things unidentified. Oh, Minera fruit. Archibald Knight. Oy, oy, oy. <laughs> okay. So we know for a fact that the gnome didn't exactly do it, or at the very least, he didn't know he was doing it, and that someone else has contaminated or spiked the food or the water. Alright. I don't know. So we, we got some people who might have a motive. Which is? Can we try finding these people to interview them? Um, so far you have a bunch of agents expecting the bodies to see if the owner is one of the bodies, but they're torn up and unrecognizable, so they're still having, um, they're still looking to see if, the, so if one of them's the owner. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, I give up. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, as you guys are investigating and doing your whole 10 minute check around and stuff, Sinya is going to come over and grab the gnome. Are you done with him yet? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Okay, you come with me. Detective, I feel like I sh we should leave this stuff to someone else. I mean, we're supposed to be like mercenaries, right, guys? And yeah. We are functionally the police. Wait, did you find any <laughs> evidence, by the way? We have a bottle of water. That's Do we it? want to show the diary, maybe? The police officer? Oh, um, yeah, we also have a diary, don't we? Well, if you have any like, evidence, just leave it to a uh, lieutenant. Be someone else. <laughs> well, you can take it to the lab, I guess. We have an alchemist no, there. No, I mean the diary and the letters. Oh, the letters and the diary. What about the letters and diary? I mean, uh, I mean they show that there could be other suspects with motive. No, I blame them out. That's good enough. Yeah, that's good enough for me. <laughs> Just how about this? How about this? How about this? I know you guys are rookies and stuff, but turn everything in to the evidence bin, and we'll set it out all tomorrow. Okay. Also, can I ask the gnome like one more question? Sure. How did you get along with your coworkers? Why is it so short? Let's see, that's a good question. And why are you so short? I, 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 I am a perfectly good size gnome. What are you talking about too short? All norms are this this small. I, I'm the tallest gnome, actually. Mm. Uh, I smell cinnamon and cap on this one. <laughs> and my employees, well, I mean, they know I wouldn't harm anybody. I mean... They should know. I really yeah, like I Rusty and stuff. They're all throwing you under the bus. I know, right? I just don't understand that. Well, I, I, I have no motive. 
We'll tell them not to throw you in prison, but just to keep you detained. And until we find more about this, then, um, well, we don't know what else we can do for you until then. Because you are the only, well, suspect we have in custody. So. Well, please hope I, you catch the who, the real criminal. And Sinya just takes him away. That's what's the last thing he said. Nice, nice. Guess next time we go back to the base, we should tell our general to uh, not just do away with him just yet. And... Ah, okay, yeah. So after he's getting taken away, the mysterious man pops up with his weird-looking glasses and a pen of paper as he quickly greets you, introduces himself. Wait, he introduces himself, so we should introduce ourselves. Well, he introduces himself. Sorry, I was doing the picture thing. And says, I'm How do you do? My name is Re Reginald. Reginald Van Casteron. No. Casterkin. Casterkin. Reginald. You just call me Reginald for certain, or Reggie for short. But let me just say, huge fan, Penny, uh, Raitri, and Larcel. Expectedly, you, Paul. So, Thank you. I thought you were going to leave me out. <laughs> I would never. Come on. You are the star of the show for this one. Gladly we will get you nowhere. What do you do exactly, Reginald? Oh, I'm I glad you asked. I write the news oh. for the town. The news. Exactly, exactly. I'm a news reporter. Uh, that's nice. And I have a, and I have a couple of questions if you don't mind me asking. I assume you're relating to the big cabal that's been happening. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 tons it's of that stuff. You know, I've been watching here and there. It's all classified. But uh, let's see here. And he stretches his hand out real quick for you to shake it, and then he quickly pulls it back a little too fast, and he starts rapidly asking you guys questions, and says. Do you always knock out birds unconscious for combat and use them in a little bag? Is locking your allies in a dangerous creature room a good strategy? Is that what the Edge Watch does nowadays? Do the Edge Watch always come out late to save the day and make sure people get eaten along the way? And do you guys shower often? I don't know. And also, are you a trying to be a toy? animaton right, little right thing yeah. and he keeps busting yeah, you with questions no, and questions no. and questions do you that's guys always right. insult humans left no, and right no. are you guys slow yeah, or am i just a fast talker no uh buddy i don't know what you're trying to get out of this but if you're looking for a good story i, mean, I, uh, I don't think those are the right questions human. if anything i'd like to think that interesting 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 and he starts writing everything down Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's all the information I need to know and for my news. All that, exactly. Oh, what is the question, my uh, slow friend? Where will you just see all this? Oh, you'll see it in the news tomorrow. The, you'll see it in the news tomorrow. You named a lot of things that were going on, and I didn't see you once, Reggie, while we were saving all those people. I was in the what crowd. I, you know, I've been here, there, uh, catching news and stuff. You know, learning about you guys, the new Edge Watch in town and stuff. Everybody would love to hear this whole, you know, zoo panic thing. You know, that's a good title for my thing. Panic at the zoo. Yes. Great title, great title. Mm, okay, yes. I am upset with this person. Can I intimidate hey, hey. him to get his notebook? Wait, hold on, before you do that, I wish to... Uh suddenly walk up to him and grab his collar and get a nice whiff <laughs> okay okay roll, roll, okay roll an athletics no, check not, you're not doing that at all. and then roll a perception no. check i want to get a whiff of his cloak you want to get a whiff of his cloak you don't you don't even have to roll an no. athletics check he lets you grab him by the collar oh assaulting a news reporter ah, i gotta put that down too and as you try to give him a good whiff, you spell nothing on him. Interesting. 
No, I was just checking your outfit. I was interested in the uh, material. It looks authentic. Oh, you like it? I got it from my friend at the, uh, what is it called? The Dreaming Palace. Great guy, great guy. Mm. He's a little halfling That's guy. Funny. He's always with his orc friend. Uh, I forgot what his name was. What was he? A great guy. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, Hen Hendrick. Hendrick. That's what his name was. But other than that, uh, can you uh, release my uh, collar, please? Oh, of course. And as you try to intimidate him, Paul, it, it doesn't phase him. At, he doesn't phase him at all, and he gives you a little wink. Well, that is all I have to say. And you know what? The news is big around town, so uh, hope you guys see it tomorrow. Ciao. Thank you. Okay. And he walks off pretty fast into the crowd and disappears. I suppose we could have asked him if he knows anything about the cinnamon sensation, but eh, we'll meet him again, I'm sure. Should have seen like what his sources were. What his sources were? Yeah, who knows? Like, Not how do you know about this whole kabaddle? Yeah. I know. It's like he was watching us the whole time. It's like and he almost should... planned it. <laughs> it's almost like he has something to do with this. Maybe, mm -hmm. uh, maybe we should mark him down and, uh, get a warrant or something. <laughs> so, let's see. Later, that report back to Lieutenant Larso. And right now he's not in the office, but you do see a mysterious figure through the glass window, a fox type of lady. So you decide to report back and just give all your evidence from the diary, the unsent letter, and the, what is it, the water. And you gave it to an alchemist within the lab whose name is, they don't have a picture for it, but I think they have a name for it. The name, let's see, taking samples to the station, he agrees to investigate it with the alchemist reporter name Johnton. Okay, Johnton. Gotcha. You guys give it to him, and he said he was going to give you guys an update on it tomorrow. Dang. Hey, it takes time. But... As you guys go to sleep and wake up tomorrow, he gives you the evidence and he says, yep, uh, that cinnamon thing, the water was poison. Definitely poison. But this poison's kind of weird, as he explains and he walks back and forth. This poison here doesn't do anything, really. It makes the person upset and mad like a barbarian, but weaker. Mm. And, but it doesn't kill the target either. So just like the animals. Mm hmm So yeah, those animals you probably were fighting were not probably at the height of their, I guess, prowess, you might say. But uh, yeah, this, okay. this water is definitely tainted. So whoever could did this is... Hmm... Who knows? But yeah, we can run through uh, run through some more tests and see if we have any evidence of this actually happening to other play people, I guess. So, but other than that, uh, the lieutenant wants you, and he's uh, he's not so happy, and he twiddles his thumbs a little bit. I got an earshot of what he was, he was saying, and uh, have you seen the news? Anybody? No? No? Uh, I mean, I don't yeah. have... A, I, I mean, I gave my last newspaper to uh, Sinya. I sit in a dark room when I'm not here. Oh. Oh, yeah, you're an animaton, so... Uh, you only get, like, what, two hours of sleep? I think. Or I think you only need two hours yeah, of sleep. Yeah, I sit on a shelf. <laughs> you should try a bed. That's, that's... Yeah, try a bed. I don't know if you can feel anything, but try one. Uh, other than that, yeah, uh, he wants you guys there immediately, so good luck. Uh, 
Hi, thank you. So, as you guys are going to Lieutenant Larcel's office, you guys get weird stares from other agents. More than usual, as they are holding a paper called The Panic at the Zoo. And as you walk into his office, you can see Lieutenant Larso hold the newspaper very tightly, covering his face. As almost he's about to rip it, you see smoke come from behind it. But you know it's from his cigar. Oh, cigar. And suddenly he slams the newspaper down onto the desk and starts yelling and berating you. What actually happened out there? What did you rookies do? And before I go off on you, explain to me what happened yesterday. You have 60 seconds. Go. What's to go first? Well, that report, as we should know by now, most news is exaggerated. Although, what happened yesterday with all the animals, well, a lot. But we only did what our mission told us to do, and that was to protect the people. Now, we need to... The next course of action is finding a lead to... Next course of action? No, 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 no. You don't get to call the, the, the shots around here, Larso. Okay? Next course of action is to tell you what's going on around here. And he throws the newspaper in front of you guys and shows this. <laughs> Fake news. Fake news. The owner hasn't been found. We're assuming it's eaten by the owlbear because, you know, unrecognizable, of course. Uh, seven casualties. It took you guys nine hours and 45 minutes. Animal cruelty. I heard that somebody used a cockatrice in a bag. What the heck is that all about? And abandoning your agents? Locking them in a room with an owlbear? A whole crowd of people was watching that. I don't remember any of that happening. That's yeah, strange. that didn't even happen. No, that did definitely happen. I see. Well, how, how do you know? I was there. You were about to lock us all in the room. I have a lot of witnesses from this news reporter guy saying they saw you outside of a building trying to handcuff two doors that people went in. And I'm looking at you, Paul. And he points his finger. Oh, oh, giggle all you want, Penny. I heard about your instance that day, stealing a noble's belt. Hey, that was the, wasn't that a prior day? I don't think it was the same day. That was you know the same day. Six missions in one day. It was a lot of missions, and that yes, that all that happened one day. Work. I think we deserve. I mean, I think, I think not. I just think that maybe. I mean, I'm an automaton. I could just keep working, but like these people, well, except for the other automaton, like they should have just when an eight-hour work day, up, You know. I'm tired. Okay. And you guys just woke up. This is a new day. News just came out this morning. I can't believe this. Animal cruelty. What are you guys doing? You guys are supposed to represent us. Edge watch. Is this not going to come off as animal cruelty though, Major? I mean, you sent us in to fight animals. And then you use an animal as a weapon? After it was beat unconscious? What would you uh, have who did that? I'd rather you just leave okay. the animal, tie it up, and go handle the rest. But no, that's too big of an issue. You gotta be fancy with it. You're not adventurers, you're policemen. You're the guards. Hold a minute. Um, it sounds like there's a truth mixed with lies in this report here. And I think we're gonna need to talk to that man. 
Give us a give us a day to well clear this up because this is a bit ridiculous. Clear it, clear it up. I'm clearing it up right now. I gotta talk to the mayor about this. I'm about to lose my job because of this, and it's all because of you four. If this keeps up, I'm gonna fire each and every one of you. I'm especially looking at you, Paul. Locking your own people inside of a building. No, you. We do not do that around here. Do I make myself clear? I would never do something like that. So all lies, what you're telling me? Yeah. No. We're all a team. It would only do strategic moves uh, that sound ridiculous that actually have purpose. I would never leave them with an enemy that they couldn't handle, sir. Hmm. I trust Paul 100%. And it was all in the name of saving that boy as well. We can't forget that. Jarvo, that little boy. Yeah, he's back with his father, which is good. But uh, I did that. <laughs> other than that, I'm going to have to take you guys. You guys are going to be gone for a week. That's it. Until this is settled down. I was going to give you the mission today of the missing person report because we got some more action. But uh, apparently I can't trust you. And I'm going to have to give you a new person too. Hopefully they come in the next week. From another district. What was it? Sleepless Sun Stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was her name? Kira. Whatever. I'll figure it out later. Other than that, you guys have a week of downtime. I don't want to see you working right now. I gotta make sure this press goes down. Well, I'll go sit on my show for a week. And also, I heard that somebody insulted the news guy. Well, he was a bitch. Is that true, Larso? He was a bit rude. Although I did, I knew that I didn't do anything wrong. I forgot that these people were. Uh, well, I forgot all that mess. Guess I was busy shocking that bear. Mm hmm. So I don't want you guys going near that guy anymore. Got it? He brings bad news around here. And exciting for the crowd and people. And I hope for your sake, none of this is true. But get out of my office. I got to go deal with this stuff. Ugh. And he goes back to read a newspaper. And he did what? <laughs> so now you guys have a week of downtime to do what you need to do. Before the okay. next mission starts. Sounds like we got someone to kill. Do you guys want to, um, I, I'm like, I get kind of nervous, like I'm twiddling my thumb and I'm like, do you guys want to, um, and I'm looking down at my feet, hang out on my shelf with me? Oh, of course. I mean, I unfortunately, don't. I'm not allowed to do any form of righteous actions at the moment, which is a very unfortunate thing. But I don't mind spending a little time with our much more peculiar crowd of friends. Uh, I don't know if I could fit on your shelf. <laughs> Unless I lay down, like, horizontally. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're probably right about that. Mm, either way, I need to take some time to think. But Forget I'll I said join anything. in your affairs. I want to go to the market. I don't know about... Are we still in the office? Uh, nope, but this is the time where you guys would go out to go buy things, go retrain I don't something. I y'all, but I got some stolen, some evidence that's been in a hole in my pocket. I, I start to head off to my shelf, and it's just like in one of the office rooms, but then I notice that there's these people taking my shelf. It's like a bookshelf, like a shelf with <laughs> toys on. Someone's taking it out, and I'm like, what's happening? And they're like, it's gone, you possess because you haven't paid your rent. <laughs> <laughs> what? Love it. Guess you gotta go buy a new shelf. It should be no, cheap, though. No, so I just sit on the floor. <laughs> it's so sad. I mean, Paul can go to the shops and buy his uh, ingredients or new. We oh, Paul needs to go buy new armor and new weapons because his things yeah, got broken. I know. I want to see that uh, Penny, 
you can go buy a new gun that you were looking for. Yeah. And go talk to uh, Parva if CV can ship it or make it for cheap. Uh, Larso, you can There's either try to learn, go buy some scrolls and learn some new spells. And Rytree, you could do the same or go buy some items. Uh, we, we don't have any money. Oh, you guys do have money. So from the investigation and everybody, you know, getting stuff, they did pay you a lump sum of 55 GP. So you guys are up to 70 gold together. So, yep, in the party loot. Boom. Wait, 55. Yep, and there is a bunch of items that you guys have not investigated. Oh, sure. What's the question? How do we get 70? Let me see. I added what you guys grabbed. Because each people get paid five items. Uh, mm, let me see. Let me I see. think Rydtree found like 25, then Paul found 15, then Paul also stole three that they don't know about. Let's see. You're saying 25 or you're saying 70 G? Oh, how much money are you saying? You're talking about the 25 gold worth of rings and necklace you guys found in the drawer? Yeah. Oh, that stuff, they returned it, and some of the stuff belonged to the, what do you call it, the, the actual guy who owns the place, the guy's name, such, you know, Knight. And so I was going to use that money to just pay you guys for 25 Gs because money is very okay. short in this game. So either the GM gotcha. just change it up to just be money and loot or just give you the items itself so that's where the 25g came from and the rest is just your normal pay income wait do we have money as a party or as a person you guys would have individual money but in the party loot you guys have 70 you guys each would get paid five gold wait what that's your allowance five gold as a party, you guys have 70 G together. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay, well, if you, if I may be so bold as to ask for a request for what we can use the money for. Sure. I made this little cheat sheet for new players. All oh, action I sniper I would like to spend all the money, including my own personal fund, in order to acquire some healers. Healers yeah, gloves. Yeah. Huh? Alright, well, it's got to be uh, unanimous yeah. because you can't just spend all the money unless everybody says that's okay. That's why I'm asking. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, this is a party. I sleep. don't know what that is. Like, I know the two words, but I also don't know what that is. Right. Would you like me to explain what it does? No, I like you to keep it vague. I don't, know. I, mean, I don't <laughs> think I know what it does. Just give me, like, the numbers on how much it heals. Is that little or is that a lot? It will heal a lot. We do need some healing stuff. We don't have like any healers in our group. Healers gloves are okay. 80 gold pieces. So that's 80. And you guys only have 70. Wow. What you said was 75. Correct. Okay. And I Good gracious. That is legit an investment and a half. But, I mean, I guess we're, we're going to have to get a good source of gold then after. You got a plan for that? Unfortunately, no, because we would have to happen upon some more confiscatables. You guys do have unidentified objects, so they could be magical items that could be sold for more, or items you guys could be using for your next playthrough. Oh. If you guys want to identify what the items do. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, before you guys make that decision, let's see. Where's party loot? All right, cool. So if you Wait, scroll I'm, all the way down, you will I, see I yeah unidentified items. You have a silver sword, claw-shaped talus, four purple darts, old bag. Just tell me which one you want to do, and then I'll tell you the check you can roll, which is Arcana nature occult or religion
if you get it wrong or if you fail, you have to attempt it the next day. You guys have a week. Who are you talking to? Where was this? Oh, I'm talking to everybody. In party loot. Where do we find this? Mm -hmm. In party loot. Scroll all the way down. You'll see unidentified items. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And I made a little cheat sheet for that too. So to help you guys with understanding what I and defining items do. It's arcane, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I know. It's a learning process. It's a learning process, but once you guys get it and understand it, it's going to go smoothly. So, for example, let's say, Penny, you want to identify a item. Let's go with uh, three purple darts. Okay. Roll me an arcana, occult, nature, or religion. Okay. If you would like, I can assist you. Sure. You can <laughs> give him an eight check. Mm -hmm. I should have looked at that too. Do some myself. Oh, do some yourself? Okay. Well, pick one. Oh, cool. Not 20. Gotcha. Purple darts are... They're an area of that. So... What are purple darts? Purple darts. Purple darts. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, there we go. You have identified these as three sleep darts. Oh. That's not bad. Mm hmm. Wait, did you say darts? Yep, sleep darts. Did I keep throwing? It says arrows. Oh, arrows. It says on my. Let me see. Oh, they're arrows. Yeah, ammunition. Yep. Oh, they say sleep arrows. Well, on my thing, it says sleep darts. So technically, you can use them as a dart. So it just has a. It just have the um sleep arrow effect. Can Paul throw it? Yes. I mean, yes, but it would be extremely ineffective. Why? Well, the arrow in and of itself would be too narrow for you to be throwing effectively. No, no, it's not an arrow, it's a dart. It, it says an arrow. Well, yes, it says an arrow, it says but it says in the, G, in the in the DM description, it, it says it, it has the air, it has sleep arrow uh, effects, but it's a dart. It's supposed to be used to be blown in the... Uh, What's called blow dart gun that they use to sedate animals with. Which, if you're going to ask, technically means yes, you can throw it, but it also still wouldn't work too well. Okay. okay, so. So, yeah, okay. So, so I yeah. That I wanted to buy. Um, healing gloves, and I do like healing gloves, but also I kind of want like armor. Okay. And to be honest, that is a little bit selfish. I'm not gonna lie, that is a little bit selfish, but this is community money, so mm -hmm. I would like armor. How much is armor, though? Uh, the pens. Armor is mostly gold. It's either two gold or four gold, depending on what armor you're two gold grabbing. Or four gold? Yep. The armor and you had was paid, three gold. We got paid five gold, correct? That is correct. Okay, so does that mean I have eight gold? Uh, five plus three, yes. Okay, and you said that armor could be like two or four. Yep, this armor that you had currently in the past was three gold. Okay. So um, I, I think it was what hide armor or scale mail. Given the low cost of armor, I am very okay with us getting healing gloves because they are very good for the team. But I would also like sleep darts. All right. We already have sleep yep, darts. you guys already we have. have sleep darts. Mm -hmm. I would like to keep sleep darts. I don't want y'all going off selling them. I like throwing yeah, them. I'd like to keep them as well. Okay, so who wants to put them on the character sheet? Like to use them. I want I want to throw character. I want to throw sleep darts. Okay. Um, Penny and Paul want some, so both put one on your sheet, sleep darts, and then add the effect. Okay. Thank you. If you need the effect again, I'll post it right here. 
So copy and paste. There's three total, so you guys got to pick which one has the, you know, third one. Penny, want to roll for it? Um, sure. Huh? Arm wrestle or okay. actual just roll? Hey, what? Let, let's actually just roll, because I don't feel good at arm wrestling. All right, roll a 1d20. Whoever has the higher number wins. Unless they tie. That'd yeah, unless fun. they tie. <laughs> I don't think you're going to get those sleep darts. Dang. What am I rolling? Oh, <laughs> roll a 1d20. <laughs> you guys are just doing rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Oh, good heavens. As long as she doesn't roll a two or a one, she's good. Here, here's a good time to use a hero point. <laughs> oh, do you know where to find the 1d20? Oh, you got it. Wow. Okay, low roll, but Penny wins, so she gets the second dart. Damn. <laughs> you both weak, weak armed it. Nice. Both are using your, your left arms or something. <laughs> oh, wait. I am deleting it off the party loot because somebody has it boop all right larso you haven't done anything so you pick an item that you want to uncover if you need to see again here you go scroll all the way down it should say unidentified items Normally in Pathfinder, we have like one person or maybe two people who identified items because they're like, you know, really good at it and stuff. But I'm showing you guys how it works. Um, I kind of need to like start heading out soon. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. sure. That's okay. yeah, yeah, it's what is it? It's 702? Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. Well, gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah, I mean, we can, yeah, we can stop it right here. And then, you know, on the start, you get your new player. Hopefully the new player comes. They're excited to play it. They're, yeah, they're totally it's new a and good stuff. Time as well. mm -hmm. And there's yeah. Adam Sintenza. Yeah. So I'm you excited too. Downtime. So I hope you guys welcome them with open arms and stuff and yeah. Teach them the ropes. Mm-hmm. And they have a little bit of social anxiety as well, so I could use healing as food. <laughs> of course. Hmm. Me. Cool. <laughs> what about you? Also, F you for that, but good on you. But yeah, uh, as we're, well, yeah, last thing before we go. So you guys can always text in Discord what items you want to buy if you look it up, yada, yada, and we can go from there to speed up the pace. But we do have to end the session for now. I do have something at 8. So. Okay. All right. Oh, oh yes, uh, me. Buy to if you want to buy anything with 70 gold, I trust you. Appreciate Yes, I guess healing investment would be nice. I think Sentenza might be a healer though too, so we'll we'll discuss that. Oh, next that's time. a good mm. point. Is that, uh... What healing potions? Yeah, or at least a support. That's what that's what they said. Mm. If that is the case, then I will have to make some considerable changes regarding. Otherwise, that's fine. All right, I'm gonna mm -hmm. head out now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good luck. Bye.